I've popped a head full of deer. I've come on, probably come a bit too late the day, I think it's about 2 o'clock. Anyway, it is about 2 o'clock. Um, I was going to go to Wester Tor, which I was going to start along and go along there, College of Valley, up that ridge. And along the Wester Tor, which I think is that one. Um, but it has blown a hole here, so I'm just going to have an easier one to test out with Heather. With Heather? With Heather. Yeah, so chances are maybe too windy, but at least it's near the car. And a little put you enjoy it, wouldn't you? Okay. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Get the gear ready and I'll not be long until we'll get up there. Are you ready? You go for a walk? Are you coming? Are you coming? Come on, let's go. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, you're ready, all right. Well, I've got my bait ready. It's had a pack of beers on, it's kind of a bit weird, way extra bait that you take. Um, that's for my dinner, supper, whatever I called you up here. I went to Dickinson's and I had a Savaloy dip. Proper hikers food before I come away. Called it the Running Fox at Long from Lincoln and it's a big old tart, should be for four quid. Poochie's food, for a little dog, she takes honey, but it's kind of a bit weird that, like, but she will eat it because she's greedy guts. So, let's get going. Well, that's it, we're up. Check the car, paranoia straightening again. Ah, it wasn't. <laughs> Come on, Smudgy, where are you going? Up, this way. This way. Come on. Well, which way to go? I think we'll go straight up here, up on the ridge, along and back up. Could go that way around the back of the trees, but um, maybe a bit steeper, so we'll get the feel for it when we're along there. Not that we need a map, but we'll have a little look. Well, yeah, great, Heather. Heather. We're going to go down there, all the way down the valley, back up. But I think time's against her, and I think it'll be too windy up there, so this is a bit lower down anyway. Give it a go. Come on, Smudgy. Unbelievable how calm it is here at the minute compared to what it's just been getting out of the car. Can't see it being like that on the top. Anyway, we'll make the most. It's the car park, looking back. I think that's worth that tour. I'll leave for another day. I'm sure it'll be a good uh, view from there anyway. Definitely should have been here earlier. Well, I know it's not very far from the car, but I've seen lots of videos of people going up here. So it is quite a nice handy one. If you don't want to go too far. Still some cracking views from here, even. Even just starting. Doggy's happy. There we go, looking back over. There's probably loads of hills around here I've never been on. As far as I know, it's most of public access, so shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, we'll enjoy it. As long as we get the, the tent put down, that should be fine. So it's funny how smudges are hiding but in the hills or in the countryside take out any house in the street or down there through the streets no off that didn't roll that please um through the streets around the estate i'm dragging our left right in the center obviously she enjoys the countryside so all you can see it's always nice when the gates are open those stiff locks no style to slip off and hide the dog over. I'm sure she appreciates it. 
just see down the college valley down there that's where i would have had to go so there's no way i would have had any time as i say i say for another day when it's less windy have to say is that i did see a gentle and a moderate breeze but it's far from that go on go on get going I'm gonna follow the top now. It's even way more, so you're never ever gonna get lost. It'd be good for somebody who doesn't want to come far just from their car park down there. It'd be great all the camp this. If you get the weather, even better. It is due to rain tonight, but so what? We'll be inside. Smudgy, are you going to be good and stay there for once? Yes, and then you'll be not be able to wait to get in the tent. Hey, Smudgy, Harry Holland. Looks to be the tent, don't you? Eh? Hold on, hold on. Right, go on, in you get. Get in. Uh, how are you now? Why do I bring a dog? Eh? <laughs> no, if you're going in, you're stopping in. Good girl, stay there.
Well, this is the joys of camping with a dog. <laughs> Can't even get me a sleeping bag, she's lying on top. <laughs> it doesn't want to budge. Anyway, there you go, Bob. At least there's no sheep around here for once. Um, I'm going to start cooking me tea in a minute. I'd have to cook inside because that windy leg. I don't think we'll be able to heat it up with the wind. Anyway, what do you say? Arr, One personal dishwasher. Obviously I won't be using this again. Keeps her happy. A nice smudgy. Nice bit of steak. Get this. The graveyard. Thank you. Some of the in the morning and what a windy night it's been. I think I managed to get to sleep about five o'clock, which is great. <laughs> no change then. Um, started raining about, I think it was about three o'clock, it was due to start about one o'clock. Dogs had a good sleep anyway. And they switchy. And they Eh? She always gets a good sleep. So, I think I'm a cup of coffee, take me time, then get that away and then away. He's introduced me to his PT, JT, JT. Well, here's breakfast. We have coffee. We have homemade jam. We have croissant. Very continental. I think I'm going to put the camera away because I didn't want to spill this in my tent. <laughs> Smudgy. Do you want to eat still there? Yeah, do you want a little bit? 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 Hey, hey. There you go. Yeah. One. Just cross on for breakfast. You lucky doggy. Right, that's it, all gone. Back to bed. Back to bed. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Are you going to lie down? Lie down. Good girl. Clever ass. Well, into the murk this morning. Normal day for when you're going wild camping. Very rare to get a sunny day. Smudge has just scoffed our meat down. Sorry, just smudge some sheep over the top. You can have them. There's the view, or lack of it. Sheep is
hands are cold. Now you're stone, and you wear sludge. This is where you hope it fits. Now what it is. Bloody dog. Joe's a tip and don't come. Especially once you see sheep. sheep. No, you're not. Come on. Anyway, that's it for the camp. We're back home. I should see the car in the distance. Still there anyway, that's always a good thing. So, till the next time.